Hey guys, uh, happy to be here for this week's Oxen Labs update. Um, basically on the dev side, all roads are leading towards the hard fork this week. Um, the hard fork isn't going to happen this week, but we're <laughs> preparing for it um, to be announced in the probably coming days or coming weeks um, if the schedule keeps on track. So basically that means for session we are getting a release, a client release out which is hard fork ready. There's going to be some changes in the one-to-one -one and closed groups um, backend or on the storage server side. So we need to make the session clients prepared for that. So we're getting a release done right now that we're going to push out into the community and you'll have about four to six weeks um, depending on exactly how the schedule goes to update to that uh, release. Um, so we're making sure that we're trying to get like all of the session clients updated before we have any breaking changes that are backwards incompatible. Um, so we can get everyone, um, everyone's clients compatible before those changes actually occur so no one's messages break. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been working on primarily on the session side. We have been doing a bit of ID blinding stuff and there's a few devs working on Emoji Reacts now as well. Um, so yeah, basically the ability to, you know, thumbs up or heart react to Emoji uh, to a message um, that we're working on as well. There's some performance changes as well which we'll be filtering out over the next couple weeks. Um, a major performance update for Android and then there'll be um, some performance updates packaged with the hard fork upgrade for um, Session Desktop. Uh, on Oxen Core, we're primarily working on a new release for Storage Server and a new release for Oxen Core as well, um, which we're in, the pr in progress on. We have finished now the Storage Server release, so there's a tag release called uh, 2.3.0, I think, and we're also working on the Oxen Core release, so basically just fixing up um, minor things at this point. Um, I know Jason was mentioning that there was an issue with the prepare registration command now that we're, we've raised um, the contributor, uh, the, the contributors that we have to 10, um, or it will be raised in the next hard fork, so we're just fixing up minor things there. Um, on LokiNet, we are trying to, uh, I think we actually have tracked down this issue now and we um, have, have a pull request for it, but basically there was a issue with some service nodes that they were having an unreachable Loki net um, and we were in contact with a few service node operators to try and work something out there and we think we found what it might be so we put a pull request in for that and then there's a few other um, service node related changes that are, will be coming in a new Loki net release as well that will push out as part of that service node package when we actually do the hard fork so there'll be a new storage server there'll be a new Loki net and there'll be a new um, Oxen core release at the same time, so um, basically just pushing out a whole uh, new release on that side. So the core and the LokiNet team are working pretty hard on the, the, the server side of things, and the, the session side basically just getting clients ready for that to happen. So that's about it for this week. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm sitting in for Josh again this week, but don't worry, he will be back in the hot seat next week, and you can see his pretty face yet again, uh, and I'll be booted. Uh, so this week with voice and videos. Uh, already released in session, Tom and I wanted to finally sit down and do a big in-depth video tutorial demonstration style um, video for the YouTube channel. We've actually already rolled it out so you can go and see it right now. It goes for a long time, it's about 28-30 minutes, uh, but there are chapters within the video so you can jump to the parts that are relevant to you. If you've got a mate that you've been wanting to onboard onto session but you didn't want to walk through the whole application with them, that's totally understandable. You can just send them this video instead, so now is the time to make sure you go and get all your friends and family on session. Uh, we've also, speaking of which, uh, got the help desk, which Chris P has been working on for quite a while now, uh, which I think we'll be launching maybe just a few days after this video goes up. Uh, so once again, if you've got people that you've been trying to get onto session, that'll be a really good place to point them for if they've got any simple or common questions that you're not sure about, uh, that should have all of the answers for you. We've also pushed out a blog this week uh, from the session blog talking about uh, the regulator focus on encryption and how that can kind of be minimized. A lot of the time regulators have a very adversarial or hostile approach to encryption, wanting to weaken it or ban it or put backdoors into it or whatever. Um, obviously that is absolutely not what we're about here. Uh, so I was just sort of, it was a bit of a think piece about how maybe we can remove some of that focus and get a more holistic approach to privacy something that regulators can get more on board with um, and that way we can work collaboratively as pro-privacy companies like ours uh, with regulators and lawmakers going forwards. Uh, speaking of which, the OPTF was 
uh, approached by a relatively notable uh, research, academic research centre, um, to participate in some research that they're going to be conducting. Um, so the reason this is really exciting and I wanted to mention it is because this really shows that the OPTF is starting to break through um, and get some notoriety in the civil society space. So we've spent a lot of time over the last couple of years that you probably won't have seen if you're a fan of Oxen necessarily, um, going to meetings, attending uh, catch-ups or dialogues or online events um, to try and really make Session and the OPTF and Oxen well known in the civil society space. And this kind of stuff, when we get approached um, by, by sort of bigger players in that space, is really, really exciting and shows that all of that groundwork that we've laid is really paying off. Uh, the other big thing that we're doing is, or that we have done uh, in the last week, is preparing our comms plan for the hard fork. So this hard fork, obviously we've done many hard forks before, but this one's a little bit different. So obviously we've still got the comms plan for the hard fork itself, which will more or less be the same as uh, or similar to previous hard forks where we're just trying to get all of the service node operators to upgrade during that mandatory upgrade period. Um, but this time there is something happening in parallel, which is that we also need to get session clients to upgrade to make sure that the client version that they have is still compatible after the network upgrade occurs. Um, so we're going to have a big comms plan where, which will be happening in parallel from both Session and Oxen, uh, which will hopefully make sure that this all goes off without a hitch. But as I'm sure you're all very familiar with when things are decentralized, it takes a little bit more coordination, a little bit more collaboration and planning uh, than if it's centralized and you can just flick a switch and everything changes. So you'll see some of the materials that we've been preparing going out over the next few weeks. You will see a timeline come out um, explaining when the mandatory upgrade period is going to be. Obviously the binaries will release. That's all upcoming. Um, but yeah, we've got the plan all set and all the wheels are, are in motion. So hopefully everything will just be smooth riding. Uh, but that's everything from me. It'll be Josh back next week. Um, so ciao for now and I'll see you whenever Josh is gone again.